the end of medieval period and merging into the Renaissance and the Age of Discovery. The conquest of Istanbul in 1453 made a major impact on the West and its march on the East. Western sailors searched for alternative sea routes bypassing the Ottoman Empire, which controlled trade on the Silk Road. Christopher Columbus reached America in 1492 while he was seeking India from the sea route. Piri Reis was born in 1465 in Gelibolo. As any boy at Gelibolo in those years, like crocodiles, Piri grew up surrounded by water. His cradle was like a boat to sleep in with the lullaby of ship voices, as the famous historian Kemal Pasha Zadeh described. He is the nephew of Admiral Kemal of Ottoman Empire. In his childhood, he was so curious about the sea, ships, and navigation. He joined his uncle's privateer, Corsair fleet in the early teenage years. of the 15th century, Piri Reis participated in the campaigns to evacuate refugees, including Muslims and Jews, from Spain to North Africa. After many years in the seas, he gained more than the expertise of a seafarer as a great captain in his uncle's fleet became an experienced geographer and a cartographer as well as an expert on the marine surveying technology of his time. In his late career, he became an admiral of the Ottoman Navy in the Indian Sea. During the expeditions in the central and western Mediterranean between 1480 and 1510, he became acquainted with the languages spoken among the seafaring community like Greek, Spanish, Italian, Portuguese, along with Turkish, which enabled him to use extensive resources of marine cartography and geography produced by the great Spanish and Portuguese mariners such as Columbus. After Kemal Reis died, Piri Reis returned to Gelibolo and started to make the famous world map delineated as Portolans in 1510. He lived and worked on his world map project in three places in the Dardanelles named Kilit Bahir, Kalai Sultaniye, Chanak Kala, and Gelibolo. He referred to 20 different prominent maps of his time or before which are covering different regions of the world. These are maps of Ptolemy, some maps made by the Portuguese, Arabs, and Ottoman Turks. He compiled them at one unique scale and a proper map projection system for navigation, which was a very difficult cartographical skill at the time. Like other portland charts of the time, the Piri Reis map exhibits a network of rump lines radiating from a circular pattern of wind roses or compass roses, but no latitude or longitude markings. Most of the graphical symbols, colors, and illustrations, such as the depiction of people and animals, are typical of portland charts of the late medieval era. 
What makes this masterpiece unique is being the first resource that conveys substantial information about the new continent, America, which was directly transferred from a map made by Columbus in between 1495 and 1496. Piri Reis got this map from a captured seafarer in a marine battle against Spanish Corsair who joined the Columbus voyages to America. Finally, he finished his masterpiece in 1513. presented the world map to Ottoman Sultan Yavuz Selim the Conqueror in Egypt in 1517. No one now living has seen a map like this. His contribution to cartography and geodesy was not only his world map in medieval times. Piri Reis, while serving his uncle Kemal Reis at his youth, used to keep notes of harbors, compass bearings, reefs, shallows, hidden rocks, and geonyms in the Mediterranean archipelago. As a great map maker, Piri Reis made very accurate and detailed charts of his time from the late 15th to the mid 16th centuries. His charts were describing the coasts, ports, cities of the Mediterranean Sea in his era. Like his peers in the 16th century, he was able to determine latitude and reasonable accuracy based on declination tables of the Thon and the Polaris He was performing these observations by using multiple surveying instruments with varying precisions such as astrolobe, quadrant, crossbow, and cross staff at sea and on land. To determine the position, latitude was supplemented with a distance and bearing system in the form of dead reckoning. Starting at a known or assumed position, his crew was observing the magnetic bearing and speed of the ship by using the most reliable instruments of the time, such as magnetic compass, sand glass, and was registering on the traverse board. What makes him an outstanding geographer and cartographer is the Book of the Sea Lore, Kitab al Bahriye. He authored in 1521, including 210 charts. He wrote in the form of verse and prose. The first part of the Book of Sea Lore explains the knowledge of navigation, winds, storms, cartographic symbols. In the second part, after giving detailed information about the Strait of Chanakala, the Dardanelles, fortresses of Sultaniyeh and Kilid Bahir, the book introduces the coasts and ports of the Sea of the Mediterranean. The book explains the instructions about the crossings, straits, safe havens, bathymetry, anchorage spots, coastal vegetation, drinking water which serves as a naval guide for seafarers. Moreover, he provides information about the people, religions, drawings of the famous monuments and buildings, and the political balance of power in the cities and countries as if a geography book. 
one may comprehend the level of the science and practice of cartography and geodesy of the medieval Ottoman Turks from the porcelain charts, atlases, and isolarios demonstrated in Kitabi Bahriye. He trained many scholars who follow his cartography school, which reflects the influence of Ottoman miniature colors and drawing skills. Cities and citadels are drawn in red ink. While the uninhabited places are labeled in black. Now we know the science of mapping clearly. No word left, I should say, on maps additionally. Those heaps, perceived as big stones and reef, are always shown as black points to relief. This is the mark for shores of sandy shallows, believe in. It is marked with red dots because... To indicate the shoals or rocks hidden under seas, one draws small crosses since the old days. If the small islets are obvious in number, Pick the icons in quantity, remember. Yet, miracles of maps are revealed to you. Write it all down in your mind to get through. Only if you use them. O oh dear seafarer, believe you are the master of all seas forever. Eventually, he prepared a more complete revised version of Kitabi Bahriye and presented his masterpiece to Sultan Suleiman the Magnificent to the Grand Vizier Pargali Ibrahim Pasha in 1526. His life ended tragically in Egypt where he presented the world map to Sultan Selim 37 years earlier. Kitabi Bahriye is one of the leading works of the science of geography for Ottoman and world history as well as historical cartography. Today, Piri Reis, Captain Piri, is one of the well-known cartographers in the world with his outstanding world map which is still one of the oldest cartographic representations of the shores of America. Only one fragment of the world map was discovered in 1929 in Topkapı Sarayi Museum. This map demonstrates the eastern parts of America, Spain, West Africa, Lesser Antilles Islands, Puerto Rico, as well as the Atlantic Ocean at the time.
In Kitab Bahriye, Piri Reis identifies the extent of world map as the territory of seven seas, which gave us a clear view about the coverage of the missing fragment. Piri Reis left a great tradition of maritime geography, map making, and cartography to the World Mapping Society.